Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jules, and today I'm here with a brand new video, and I think this is sort of more of a re revisited video, because if I look over here and go to my YouTube channel, um, what you would actually see, my most popular video um, is actually this one, which was two years ago. And when I went into this, and I paused it, um, and people would watch it, um, but like stuff would happen and such as that. I know that's a year ago, um, and I'm a bit late to it, but I just want to revisit it and just sort of try to uh, redo this because this was what 2016, so it is two years old now, and I want to make a new one just so for people who are still struggling with it, I'll help make it easier. So, first things first, what you need to do is I'm going to do both OBS and XSplit. Um, so I will do OBS at the start and I'll put a little keyframe like right over here uh, for XSplit. Um, but first of all, what you do is install um, OBS. So you go get the downloader, click yes, go click next, I agree, next. And then this is the most important part. You need to tick this browser source. You can't put a text chat if you don't have the browser source. And bear in mind, you're not going to see this chat in your game. Because I have a lot of people who's who um, commented saying that they can't see it in their game. It's not for meant for you to see it. It's meant for the viewers to see it. Um, so just bear that in mind. But after that, click install. Once it's all done, then what you do is just load the, the OBS up. And then... Next thing you need to do is log in to Streamlabs. Uh, so if you're using uh, either Twitch or YouTube, log in with one of those um, two uh, um, streaming platforms. Um, if you're streaming on YouTube, you do it via YouTube. If you're streaming via Twitch, then do it via Twitch um, because it really makes a difference. It basically links your chat um, to your thing, uh, to your, your stream. So once you've done that, just click on widgets and then go over to the chat box <laughs> and then what you can see here is that you have the widget URL and then also you can customize it if you want as well so if I switch that to like boxed you can make it a box uh, chunky um, and you, you can just play around with it you can put how long it lasts and stuff like that um, and then you just need to save the setting and then copy this URL and then what you do is just go to OBS and then plus browser change it to whatever name so YouTube chat I don't know whatever and click OK and then there's a URL part here so originally it will put you to the their website but all you need to do is just paste that link click OK and then see it's, it's pitch black just because of the fact that there's no chat. So if I go over to my Twitch and I type in hi YouTube, and then if I just put that, see, perfectly fine. And then if you want to make it bigger, then just, uh, sort of change it like that. Or you can go into OBS, not OBS, you go into to, to Streamlabs and then you make the font size bigger. So I'll put it up to like 54, I'll save that and then it's bigger all right um, and that's all you need to do for OBS now for the XSplit version you need to you have to log in so um, I need to log in I just installed it because I reset my PC um, I reset my PC like two days ago and I haven't fully installed everything onto it so once you've gone into XSplit, there's actually a different way of um, doing the chat. So with XSplit, you actually have extensions. And what you can do, you can go to extensions, add extension, find more extensions. Jesus Christ. And then all you need to do is type in Twitch. And then you need to click show sources as well. And then cho choose the Twitch IRC chat viewer. And so all you need to do is install this and then it will show up in it as an extension. So if I close this now, I click add source and there's Twitch widgets. All you have to do is I just need to link XSplit with Twitch. I've logged in now 
and then I can sort of change things, I can change the colours um, and stuff like that. Um, and then all I need to do is connect to the uh, channel chat Wolfie. So it says connecting and then you can put this opacity, you can make this, uh, I don't know, you can make this green if you'd like. I think even transparent, I think this works on YouTube. Yeah, there we go. So all you need to do is literally, you can change it to whatever you want. You can make the text size bigger. Uh, you can make it scroll as well. Um, you can hide timestamps. So if I put that back, that's the wrong thing. Uh, hide YouTube. And you see here? I can hide the timestamp, I can hide username, I can hide icons, um, I could put an outline if I want to. Um, so if I do like that, and doesn't work, but anyway, you get what I mean that it's, it's a little bit easier to sort with, uh, with, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway guys, I hope you find this video useful. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you find it useful and that um, it helped you a lot. Please comment down below. I will be responding to everyone who uh, needs a little bit more help. And I'm more I'm available to make more Twitch uh, slash YouTube streaming uh, videos just to help you guys out. Um, without further ado, I hope you have a great day and peace.